Hi everybody, Eve Harrow, Israeli tour guide, podcaster, and public speaker. I'm standing here in Shiloh. I'm just, be, I'm just underneath the modern day community of Shiloh and just in front of Tel Shiloh. Shiloh was our religious center from the time that we came in with Yehoshua until about minus 1050, meaning for the entire period of the judges. What does this have to do with Tisha B'Av and Kina Yud Dalid? In Kina Yud Dalid, I'm reading to you here, this is one that's usually skipped. Patsu pihem chag la shem b'shilo, dimu ki la'ad yesha moshlo, pa'alu sheker vehe shilo, ad ki avo shilo. There's a few things going on here. One is a reference to the Mishkan in Shiloh, a reference that Yirmiyahu uses before the Churban of Bayit Rishon, when the people are sure that despite the many sins that they're committing, Beit Hashem is not going to be destroyed. And in Yirmiyahu, Zion and Kafvav, he says to them, take a look what happened to my house in Shiloh, meaning Hashem's house in Shiloh. Even though initially it was a place where it was like the first house that a young couple builds and full of anticipation and love and eternity, it was destroyed because the people didn't deserve it anymore. And Yirmiyahu uses that as a warning for the first Churban. He said, go see what happened in my house in Shiloh. The other thing that happens here at the end, Ad Ki Avo Shiloh is a direct reference to Parashat Vayichi and the brachot that Yaakov gives his sons and the bracha that he gives Shevet Yehuda is that the scepter will not leave him, the monarchy will not leave him, Ad Yavo Shiloh, and Shiloh is seen to mean Mashiach. But what's interesting in this little paragraph is Pa'alu Sheker Vehe Shiloh. It sounds like Shiloh, except that the way that it's spelled is with a Vav at the end and not a He. Shin Yud Lamed Vav. And that changes the entire meaning because Shiloh is like the remnants of something, like what's left over. Barnea Sullivan thinks it has to do with shalal, booty, all right, what you don't have, and well, like what's pulled away. And it made me think that that's the same meaning as the name Moshe. Moshe is pulled out of the Nile. And so perhaps here in this little paragraph, we have references to quite a few things. One is that the Beit HaMikdash or the Mishkan is just a house. Hashem's not going to be there anymore if our behavior doesn't deserve it. Perhaps it's a reference also to Moshe Rabbeinu, that not only do we need to keep Hashem in our hearts, but we need to keep the teachings of Moshe Rabbeinu with us all the time. Ad Yavoshilo, until the Mashiach comes. But we're not going to deserve to have a rebuilt Beit HaMikdash until our behavior justifies it. Kina Yudalid, Tisha B'Av, in the hope that this is the last Tisha B'Av that we'll be commemorating in sadness and in fasting. Thank you.